Hi everyone. Now we will see how to create vectors from images. For that we have to download some image or whatever the image you have already stored in your computer can be used. For that we will go to file, open, then if you can see all supported files from that you can select uh, any of the image now I selected this butterfly image and uh, after I opened it shows the height weight uh, width and all so now I am not bothered about this uh, the measurement or the height and width of the object and ju in just mm I imported by giving ok Later we can convert the, once we created the vector, th those vector we can uh, size it to our requirement. So the, uh, in normal uh, uh, way how we will use that, we will go to the polyline and from the polyline we will be start drawing around the image wherever we want the vectors. We can keep little dim. Uh, and uh, then uh, st uh, continue creating the vectors. These vectors uh, once uh, create after creation uh, we can uh, go to node editing and then correct it to our uh, required size as we can uh, first create some approximate curves later uh, with uh, help of node editing we can uh, adjust to the right size or the right shape after completion you can do the node editing with the help of node editing we can adjust to the curve exactly to the size So this is the normal method of creating vectors from the images. So here the plus point is that even the images is not so clear, we can create vector according to our idea, according to our creativity. Now we will see how to create a vector automatically from the image. For that there is a command known as uh, from the uh, vector pull down menu there is a command known as bitmap, bitmap to vector or from this uh, tool icon we can also select from here from the bitmap tools bitmap to vector when the template is open then you can uh, reduce the color to 2 there is 32 colors from the 32 colors we can reduce it to only two colors that is black and white like that so that is the thing that uh, decides the line that is the boundary of these two uh, will be uh, converted as line so creating vectors clicking creating vectors the vectors will be automatically created as a approximate vectors okay so quite good quality vectors uh, we can achieve with artcam 2018 uh, this image uh, these vectors once created we can uh, save it and uh, use in some other drawing so for that we will select the vector what which which all we want to save as uh, as uh, vectors we select it and go to the vector command where we will export it into eps format so we will give a name also for that then save it
so that uh, particular file will be saved uh, in the uh, given folder now we will close this model then we will start open a new model for the required size then we can import that EPS file butterfly EPS file the file is quite bigger so we will go to transform vectors in that we will change the size while changing the size we have to be careful that aspect ratio is maintained otherwise only one parameter will change if width is changed if the aspect parameters is locked then when width is changed automatically height also will be changed ac according to keep the ratio then bring into the sender so this way we can create vectors from images and can be used in our project Thank you very much for listening the video. If you have any doubts, you can please uh, comment on my uh, channel so that I can reply to you if, if any doubts. This is I am doing as part of my mission to help more than hundred thousands of people who have no proper guidance how to start a new business based on CNC router machine and also for those people who have already invested in CNC router machine and stuck with problems in running and scaling up the business you may also subscribe to my other channels in Facebook Twitter and all so that you will be getting a lot of information regarding and related to CNC router machine. You also can visit my website www.pradeepkumarkp.com Thank you once again.